Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. Today's episode is brought to you by the Law Office of Frank Bruno. See that? Fancy graphics. Today's topic, what is a personal representative? I'll tell you. Before I get to that, let me recite the website address for you. FrankBrunoLaw.com On there you could... Uh, Take a look at my 400 plus videos, frequently asked questions, information. It's a pretty good website. What is a personal representative? Well, in New York, we call that person an executor or an executrix, right? Male or female version executor. Other states may call it a personal representative, but irrespective of what that title is, this is the person named in a will that you're asking to um, resolve all of your final issues. So uh, take your will and put it in probate, file a tax return, marshal assets, um, maybe uh, pay, uh, pay any final debts, pay for the funeral costs, um, submit insurance claims or life insurance claims, um, Really, this is a trusted person named in the will that can attend to your final affairs. Um, this is the business card. I, I did write something down, so let me see. Pay outstanding bills, distributing your personal assets, filing life insurance claims, fulfilling your bequests, selling real estate if necessary, uh, file the appropriate papers in court. I wrote that. Um, it's a big job. It's someone that you... Um, can trust to do the tasks involved. So it really, um, well, anyone that you name in a will and anything that you do name in a will um, really should be done with the forethought of, is this a person that has the skill uh, and the acumen to um, you know, handle this task? A lot of people will choose their spouse one spouse will choose uh, the, re the remaining spouse. Uh, oftentimes, adult children. Picking adult children in a, in a certain sense is a little bit tricky. If you have three kids, who do you pick? Sometimes people pick two. Uh, I've often put uh, two executors, co-executors on a will. I've never done three. I know some colleagues that will go as high as three. Kind of just makes it cumbersome. Uh, if a person wanted me to leave three, I mean, I, I can't remember a specific instance where I did that. It, it may have happened in my 24-year career. Um, two, I've definitely put down as co-executors. Three, maybe. But if you have three people, the three people need to be in agreement with each other, and they have to sign all documents. So that's why I say it's a little cumbersome. But we can speak about why you would want that and whether or not it's a good plan, just like everything else we do. Conversation, communi communication, and ultimately clarity. Please reach out to me if you would like to speak to me, frankbrunolaw.com. Thanks.